Oh my God, it was quite cathartic. Obviously, Alita goes from a, a young girl to a woman. All of you here standing in front of me went on that journey, and, and you know how harrowing that journey can be. Uh, so I experienced a, quite a bit of catharsis playing this role, going back to that journey, realizing how much of a hero all of us are for even surviving it. So that was quite a gift. Isn't it nice? It's a nice little change. It's a nice way to represent to young girls of all ethnicities and young boys that, that this is this is the new normal. This is how we're going to do it from now on. And if I had had, you know, some representation up there, um, maybe it would have been easier for me to go, I can do that too. And I wouldn't have had to struggle for the years that I did struggle. And yes, it was uh, very challenging mentally and physically to be at that level of endurance every single day. It was, it was quite a gift to go on that journey. Yeah, well, a lot of martial arts uh, every single day, training for five months. Um, it was, it was, it was nice to tone my body, but also to tone my mind, and, and that was a nice byproduct from the training. Because Alita is an experience; it's not just the motor ball that is important to see on a screen like this. Although, it's unparalleled. Uh, it's also those more touching moments, and the world. The world is so expansive, and I think that Weta did such an amazing job building out that world. You really want to escape. To Iron City the way you escaped to Pandora when you saw Avatar. It was it was a lot of shooting all day, sleeping in the van on the way home, cuddling up with my two dogs, getting in the van in the morning, sleeping day after day after day. You just get into that rhythm and then you die for about three months after the film. <laughs>